welcome friends to the formula engineering classroom and in this third installment of centrifugal pump we will understand the concept of arrangement of centrifugal pump in series and parallel so sometime when we need increase the discharge or increase the pressure in smaller amount then we simply think about attaching one extra pump or smaller pump to our original pump in series of parallel arrangement so doing so may lead to some problems because the other option is that if you want to increase the smaller amount of volume flow rate or so smaller amount of head so in that case we can increase the rpm of our original pump or we can increase the power input to our original pump or we can use different impeller diameter that is the larger one than the previous one and we can say that that is we can purchase some larger size pump in that case means in that case attaching two dissimilar pumps in series or parallel arrangement may lead to so many problems so let first try to understand what happen when we are attaching two dissimilar pump in series system so let in this case i am arranging two pumps one is the smaller size another one is the Large size. So here, let I'm saying this one is our smaller pump. Okay, this is our pump one. This is I'm providing input to this one. This is the discharge line of this one, and I'm attaching this one to some larger pump. Okay, that is our pump two. Now. It is putting the discharge here, and I am attaching this one to some more larger. Pump. And here it is putting the discharge. This is our third pump. So here we have three pumps in series connection. Okay, this is the direction we are providing here. Sorry. Okay, so we know that is when the pumps are attached in series, then the discharge through all the pumps remains same. Now, obviously, there is a series connection, and now obviously the discharge in case of larger pump is more, and in case of smaller pump is less. So this is the first problem because in that case, this larger pump will try to force these two pumps to deliver more discharge, but that is not possible because the capacity of these two pumps is less than compared to this one so first we are saying that is q1 that is discharge will be equal to q2 will be equal to q3 when they are in series but this is not possible in the system second when they are in series then the total head developed by these three pumps is going to be sum up because they are in series connection so we can write that is total head h will be equal to h1 plus h2 plus h3 Okay, now, so in series, discharge should be remain same, and head is going to be sum up. As I'm saying, that is, this is delivering more discharge, and this is forcing these two pumps to deliver more discharge. So, if the pumps are running in this condition or in this state, and so in that case, after some time, this may damage the pump or may damage the motor through the through which they are running. So, let understand this concept by using some graph here. So, again. We are using our head versus discharge. So this is our discharge. This is our head. So let this is for first pump, pump one. This is pump one. Okay. So this point is what? This point is the free delivery point of pump one with less discharge in this case, and this is the shutoff head of first pump. Now let second one is like this this line is not clear no problem this is pump 2 pump 2 and let this is our pump 3 this is our pump 3 okay so these three pumps are attached in series system 
So obviously in this case, the head in this case is going to be sum up. So let I am making some vertical lines here. So this is the first vertical line. It is indicating here is the end of free discharge of first pump. This one is our second, and this is indicating this is the line that is where the free delivery of the pump to. So in this case, the discharge is going to sorry the head is going to be increased. So from here to here, from here to here, this is indicating head equals to H1 plus H2 plus H3. Okay, now after this point, obviously we have to shut off the pump one because it is not able to create more discharge beyond its fidelity point. So we have to shut off this pump one and we have to provide bypass for this one. So after that, after setting off the pump one, in this reason, it will provide head like that. And obviously in this case, in this reason, the head is equals to only H3 plus H2. Because in this case, the head of this pump is not available. And in this reason, the only available head is equals to H2 plus H3. Now, after this point, we have to, or at this point, we have to shut off the pump 2 also and also bypass this one. So now at this point, both the pumps, pump 1 and pump 2 are shut off and they are bypassed. So this will follow this line. And obviously this is providing only head H3. That is only to the pump 3 here. Okay. So our net discharge will be equals to the discharge of the largest pump. This is the fidelity point of the largest pump. But our head is going to be increased. Okay, that will be equal to H1 plus H2 plus H3. But in that case, we have to shut off this pump 1 and bypass this one. And after some point, we have to shut off this pump 2 and bypass this one. So this is the problem when the pumps are attached in series system. Okay, now what happens if the pumps are arranged in parallel? So let's check. So let I'm saying. The pumps are arranged in parallel. So let I'm drawing here. So let this our pump one, smaller one. This is one. This is larger one, second one. this is two and let this is third pump and this is delivering over here and then we are connecting these pipes okay so in this case, pumps are arranged in parallel. So when the pumps are arranged in parallel, in that case, the discharge of all three pump is going to be sum up. So we can write that is Q is equals to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. And in this case, the head of all three pump should be same. So we can write H1 is equals to H2 is equals to H3. But obviously as the pumps are dissimilar, so in this case, the head developed by the third pump is larger one. And so in this case, this third pump will force these two pumps to develop the same head. But this is not possible because this is beyond their capacity. Okay, so again, if the pumps are running in this arrangement, in that case, this pump 2 and 1, are going to be damaged after some time and the motor that are running these pumps are also going to be damaged so let's understand by uh, these three pumps arrangement parallel arrangement through this graph here that i'm again drawing here 
Q versus H that is discharge versus head here okay so again let this is our pump 1 so let I'm indicating this is P1 this is our pump 1 okay this is our pump 2 that is our P2 and this is our pump 3 so this is third pump okay now so obviously these points are the set of head of pump 1 pump 2 and pump 3 and these are the free delivery point of pump 1 pump 2 and pump 3 so let again in this case this is indicating this line this horizontal line indicating this is the limit of shut off head or this is the shut off head of the pump 1 this line is indicating the shut off head of pump 2 okay so obviously in this case the discharge is going to be increased okay the discharge in this case is going to be increased here so let's suppose I am saying this discharge curve look like this one so this is indicating Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 these are the discharge available up to this point now after this point obviously we have to shut off the pump one and how to bypass this one because it can't deliver the head more than this one now so after this point there's a loss of discharge here so the discharge curve follow this curve here this region so this in this region the discharge we have is equals to q2 plus q3 okay now so at, at this point or after this point obviously the we can't operate the pump 2 because this is the beyond of its capacity and in this case if we are operating this pump in that case the there's a damage in the pump so that's why we have to shut off this pump 2 and we have to bypass this one so beyond this reason beyond this line the curve will follow only this path that is the our third pump path okay so this is only q3 okay so this is our q3 so means in this case the head provided by all three pumps will be equals to the maximum head available that is by the largest pump but in this case the discharge is going to increase up to this point but we have to shut off all these all the pumps sorry the pump 2 and 3 at this point and this point sorry pump 1 and 2 at pump 1 at this position and pump 2 at this position okay so in this case we can't run the dissimilar pump in series and this is not acceptable to run the pumps in dissimilar pumps in the parallel element that's why it is desired that is if the pumps are in series or parallel arrangement the pump should be identical okay i hope you like the lecture and if you like the lecture please subscribe the channel like the video share the video and comment your doubts till then take care yourself thanks for watching